part, you know, if we look at um, the situation of Africa as a whole, and not just South Africa, mm. if we look South Africa, it's an energy crisis. We hear constant media reports about the trouble Eskom is having, the maintenance they're planning to do over winter, etc. So it's become a need now. You know, you can take all the stakeholders out of it. The reality is we're going to run short of power unless we bring about energy saving solutions. Road and street lighting is a good obvious choice because of the amount of energy that can be saved. If you look at all of Africa, by 2020, 22 countries across Africa are going to be in a dire energy crisis. Africa's grain, it's grain with population, increased urbanization, and with that, we're going to see more and more demand for electricity. So from that aspect, it's going to bring about change, you know, whether people like it or not. You have to adapt. To the part of it, in terms of the life, uh, lifetime of the product, and uh, is it made to last a certain amount of time before a new product comes along? We look at it more about, let's replace your conventional lighting solution, and then let's look for other applications where light can be deployed. There's many areas that aren't lit. You know, if you look at Africa as a whole, there's over 600 million people that have no access to electricity. So the possibilities are endless. We could light something here and say it's taken care of, but there's so many more opportunities we could pursue. So it's not just about looking at the existing fit, it's about looking at the bigger picture. And that's where we believe LED plays its part.